three most important questions uh, that are asked as, as producers are, are contacting OSU Extension that I'm aware of. The first question is how much hay is going to be required during a drought? The second question is what can uh, we expect the production of perennial pastures to be during a drought? And the third question is, is given the drought situation, just how do we manage these forage resources? Uh, the answers to all three of these questions are, are really difficult to come by, but, but as we think about some of these things, they'll begin to make a little bit of sense. The answer to the first question about the hay that's required, first let me say that, that the amount of hay that's required in a normal year is going to be different given different management styles among these producers. So even during a normal year, producers are going to have different amounts of hay that's required. As we move into a drought, that's going to complicate the matter. I think the best way we can estimate the amount of hay that's going to be required during a drought is take the amount of hay that is required during a normal year and then go with a factor that's two to three times greater than that amount. Uh, for example, if during a normal year your hay feeding period is three months, then during a drought situation you're going to need anywhere from six to nine months worth of hay to carry you through a one-year drought. Second question about the, the production of the perennial pastures during a drought, again that is going to be dependent entirely on rainfall. Even within a drought situation on a regional basis, there are going to be localized areas that receive greater precipitation than other areas. It's going to be not uncommon then for the range of production to be anywhere from 90% of normal all the way down to about half of what's normal. The answer to the last question about managing grazing during a drought is going to be related to the answer to the previous question about how much the perennial pastures are going to produce during a drought. When we talk about grazing management, stocking rate is going to be so much more important than any other management practice that we have regarding grazing that we're going to have to reduce stocking rates on these perennial pastures in relation to the amount of decreased forage production that we have. If our forage production is decreased by one half, uh, then we're going to have to, in effect, reduce our stocking rate by one half. If our forage production is decreased by 90%, then we're going to have to uh, decrease our stocking rate with what would amount to the majority of our herd. There are many other practices that we can use that will facilitate grazing management during a drought. If you're interested in, in learning more about these grazing strategies, your county extension educator can be of great help.